After 20 months lying on its side in the shallow waters off the Italian island of Giglio, the Costa Concordia is ready to be raised. It will be the largest and most expensive maritime salvage operation in history and, weather permitting, will start at first light on Monday. The process known as parbuckling is expected to last between 10 and 12 hours and will see the giant cruise liner gradually rotated and rolled upright. A system of jacks and underwater chains will help pull the ship up and then a row of tanks on the exposed side will fill with water to keep the Concordia afloat. It will then come to rest on a specially built underwater platform. A team of 500 engineers are involved in the operation, which is costing around £500 million. Environmentalists say they're concerned about the dangers of pollution when water pours out of the ship and also if the ship itself breaks apart. But experts are confident their plan will work with minimal risk and say once upright, the focus will be searching the cabins. So when we bring it upright, we'll have underwater cameras that will see exactly what's on the seabed and the authorities will be looking for the, for the missing people. That's uh, one of the priorities. Once the authorities have done their investigations on board, then we'll go through cabin by cabin and the valuables will be put into uh, the care of the prosecutors. In January last year, at least 30 people died when the cruise liner carrying more than 4,000 passengers hit rocks and ran aground. Two bodies are still missing. If the salvage operation does go as planned on Monday, it will still be several more months before the cruise liner is finally removed from the shoreline, towed away to its final destination, the scrapyard. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.